Hello YouTube, it's CJ and I'm going to uh, do some painting today in which I want to use a uh, stencil that is by let's see, this is by Americana and you can see right there in the corner that is the shape of the stencil on the uh, picture they've shown this on a oh, it looks like a lampshade and it's called the dandelion. I like to try and use stencils in more than one way and that's basically what I'm going to show today. Uh, I hate to think that you buy a stencil and that is the only way possible to use it. I'm preparing my surface here with some Americana paints. I've got the um, Let's see, there's the white, cotton, uh, this is uh, ultra blue, deep, this is the uh, uh, spas uh, blue. Okay, and then I'm just going to come in here and just give it some just random color on the background. Don't want it all. And see, I just, I don't worry a lot about it being covered real well. And I just want to get some up here at the top, if this will come out. There we go. Goodness sakes. It was the paint box, believe me. <laughs> and I am just, oh, that one itch there. Now, what I've done with this stencil, you can see where I've used painter's tape and I've blocked out some areas. And I like using painter's tape because it uh, comes off very easily. Uh, even if you have a, a paper that you're trying to uh, cover some areas with, sometimes if you use just a little bit of talc on there, will help it release easier. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm going to go just a little bit more. Like so. And what am I using? This is the Distressed Spray Stain. Okay. down here. And a little bit over here. Okay, great. That's what I want to see. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stencil in just a little bit different fashion. Let's see here. I think I'm going to bring this out like this. Let's see if we can figure out what we have here. Hmm. Are you getting what it is? Well, maybe not just yet. I always like trying to find different ways to use things. I think it would be very sad if all we did was just, you know, buy one stamp, buy one stencil, and only use it for that one purpose. Um, I don't know, that's just me, but that's what I like to do. Okay. And we're just
just going to go with a very quick fill in here like this. worried about this. Alright, now do you see what I've done as far as the stencil, how I've used that? that I want. going here. Can you see this dog in here?
sometimes that happens. Just trying to get that great effect in there. There we go. done. This is not meant to be realistic. It's more impressionistic than anything. And there we go. This is just another way use a stencil. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have a great day. Bye.